<laughs> Greetings, everyone. So I'm recording this video immediately after I recorded the last one. I just wanted to get on with this just so I can. And I just found out something. I would not. I'm so glad I did this. I would not have been able to get the true ending if I have not maxed out Marie's social link, which I'm so glad I maxed out Marie's social link. because I want to get the true ending first. Um, but yeah, um, but we, we got to click a oh, wait a second here. That's our first one. Okay, and then the next one I have to pick is we're missing something. Yeah, uh, we're missing something. Okay, and then the next one is uh, there. Uh, there's true feelings. Okay. Uh, wait, no, hold up, hold up. Did I skip one? I think I skipped one. Uh, wait, no, we're missing something, and then there's true feelings. What? Something's been bothering me. So what? Whether he, uh, whether he will kill again, whether revenge is right, not a time true feelings. Oh, right there. Okay. We just heard the guy's true feelings on TV. What didn't you understand? Okay, and then the next one is going to be something's been bothering me. Well, what is it? I already told you there's no time to waste. Are you getting at something here, or are you just stalling? When I when I play the freaking gold ending, I have to play through the entire game again, which is annoying. <laughs> okay, and the next one is calm the hell down. Or no, hold up, hold up. we're missing something actually. Yeah, uh, we're missing something, and then it's calm the hell down. Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it! I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer. Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. Uh, calm the hell down! You yelled at everyone to calm down. He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. Yeah, yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> We're missing something. What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hold up, hold up. I need a, I need a check. So after she's in the right answers, you'll move ahead to December 5th. Which is when you have to make another important choice. You'll be given the opportunity to say who you think the real killer is. Oh, uh, okay. So I need to uh, respond with who I think the real killer is whenever it asks me. Hey, let's all take a deep breath. Uh, yes. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Everyone took a deep breath. It seems that everyone has finally regained their composure. You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. Yes. Now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective, there's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But, yeah, the guy's not saying anything. I would not have been able to do anything if I didn't read a guy, dude. <laughs> There's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. Yeah. Understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them. Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. <clears throat> Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them, though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere. Any I I feel the same way. Let's just think for now. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> How can you stay so calm, man? I don't know. That's why you're our leader. <sighs> All right. Let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. Yeah. If we leave any unanswered questions behind. Just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. 
Come on. We've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right. Together. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So yeah. And thanks. The case has taken a sharp turn, and the investigation team is now one step closer to the truth. It seems that you will go on with your friends to solve another mystery. Ooh, investigation team leveled up to max! Hell yeah. Also, I was reading that if... Uh, well, actually, no, I'll, I'll say it later. I'll say it later. I'll say it later. Ooh. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth we bestow upon thee. The ability to create Loki. Ooh, I can create Loki? Okay. <laughs> okay. The investigation team is a social link has the maximum level. You have mastered the investigation team's social link. Your power to create personas of the full Arcana has reached max. Star Karma has forged a bond that cannot be broken. Uh, by mastering the full social link, you can now fuse Loki, the shapeshifter. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> What's this? What's this? Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Judgment Arcana. What does this mean? <laughs> What's this? Uh, you have established the Seekers of Truth social link of the Judgment Arcana. You may earn an XP bonus when fusing personas of the Judgment Arcana. Okay. <laughs> hey, you guys? What are you doing? You can't be in here. Oh, crap! We were keeping an eye on the suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation. And their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, I see. <laughs> security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. Okay. The doctor. He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. He seems fine for now, but he really needs his rest. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. <laughs> we should go too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. Yeah, okay. So what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. Huh. Everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing Namatame Ooh, uh -huh. even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal um. of effort into investigating this point. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her. It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh, I don't really get any of this. Oh, this is so confusing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. 
Maybe you should quiet down a little. Nadashi, shut up. Yeah. Please come with me immediately. What? What's going on? What are you waiting for? Hurry, go. What is it? What? Is it the teddy note? Huh? What's this? Oh, Teddy. <laughs> teddy, what you doing? Oh, wait, what? I think we're getting a bit more insight on what happened to Teddy. What? Because Teddy left a note, and he said that he's going back to the TV world. But but, but the, by the looks of this, it looks like he didn't... He didn't come here by his own will, because he's all like, how did I get here? Oh, no. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I well, you definitely don't exist to do that. <laughs> That's it. I remember now. So it was true. Guys. What's true? What was true? Or what? What? There they are. Nanako chan came around. What? What? <laughs> what did you just say? What? Nanako. resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail but it does happen but until i know why she collapsed in the first place i can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on still oh. <laughs> and she's trying desperately to stay alive so this isn't a joke you're actually telling the truth nanako-chan nanako-chan God damn. Stop crying, you two. You all should go home for the night. Dude, I have so many videos to edit. <laughs> I haven't edited uh, any of them. Or I edited like, I think two. I have a lot. Let me, let me see. So I have one, two, three, then the Persona one, four, then this one, five. Then I have another one. So I have like about six or seven videos to edit. <laughs> You're right. That's weird. I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Where's his note? Yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. I'll try calling him up once we're outside. And where'd the note go? Like, how could just, you know, preventing him from dying, just make him, or, yeah, for preventing Namatame from, or, or not killing Natame, like, remove the note. Like, what? what? Naomi, and that girl too, I couldn't save them. Huh? What's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? He just was back to sleep. What does it mean? I mean yeah, I just want I just want to know what does he mean by save them? <sighs> I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? We do uh, maybe look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. Oh, it's not him. Ah. Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty though because of this fog. I completed the game. I completed the game. It's freezing. Let's go home. I got the bad ending. Hey Yosuke, if you find Teddy, 
don't forget to contact us, all right? Yada yada yada. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Mm hmm. I'm not look like that. Yo, Nanako, uh, Nanako died. Don't know who that is. <laughs> what, do you know? what do you mean you don't know who Nanako is? You never buy his food, but... Oh. <laughs> yeah. She died because she didn't buy food. <laughs> she died of starvation. Bro, I'm back in Namatame's room. Was it really right to stop everyone from what they were about to do? And that's hinting at the bad ending. Because getting the bad ending, Nanako dies and Namatame dies. So, no. But now Nanako came back to life somehow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> For now, you have no way of knowing. <laughs> you remember that your cell phone has been off this entire time since you were at, at the hospital. Okay, what is it? There's something in new, new in your inbox. Hey, Yumi! It's, it's Yumi, it's where Yumi. are you right now? If you want to talk about your cousin, please don't think twice about calling me. I'll be waiting for you. Call me back. Okay. You check all your boxes. There's, you, bro. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're from your friends in town. God damn, how'd they find okay. out that my cousin died, bro? I remember that you have uh, that you have friends uh, who are there to help encourage each other. <laughs> the case is still um, my, my, mired I don't know, in an impenetrable fog, but you must continue toward, toward the truth. Uh, you should go home before you catch cold. Yeah, okay. That was, uh, that was quite, uh, that was quite wild. Let's, uh, let's save right here, you know? Uh, I'm gonna save at, uh, two is where I have the previous save, just so I can go back and get the other ending. Um, so I'll save at three. There we go. And let's head back up into my, uh, oh wait, the snow that started to fall and the fog that won't disappear. What lies ahead from here on? You feel very tired. You should hurry and get some rest for today. Yes, let's... Oh, I didn't mean to click. Don't rest. <laughs> uh, rest. Okay. Let's rest, and I don't know if it'll skip me towards day five. Ooh, here. Okay. This. Welcome. It's been quite some time. Yeah, it has. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. I think it mentioned something about getting a, a key from the velvet room. I don't know. Think in your dreams. Now then, your journey has taken you quite a distance thus far. Yeah. You'll be able to successfully solve this I hope I can solve it. Splendid. The precise destination of this vehicle. Ah, that too is getting rather hard to judge. <laughs> yeah. Continue driving blindly. We may end up leaving you further away from the mystery that you must reach. Well, it's three endings that I need to get. But one of them will take longer because I have to play. Like I said, I have to play the entire freaking game again. Uh. Ah, 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 my, my, ah, nice, nice keyboard. Uh, Whoa, uh, voices, you, voices you've heard many times before echo in your mind. Ah. Um. Uh, okay. That was Yumi. Naruto! Okay. We leave any unanswered questions behind. We'll just be lying to ourselves. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. <laughs> Come on. Right. Together. Yeah, let's let's do this. And it seems you have comrades with you as well. Those heading in the same direction through this dense fog. Yes. Uh, uh, what? We stopped. It seems that the car stopped moving. We'll be parked for the moment. 
Will I confirm our current heading? Okay. As I mentioned previously, this year will signal a great change in your life. Why? Although there isn't much time left. It can be worth your while to take the time to stop and reflect. People are like Okay. <laughs> differently some yeah fast some change their course experiencing countless events as they travel down the river of time just so the state of this room reflects the scenery of your heart perhaps this may be a time for contemplation rather than action okay up oh, you can hear something in the distance uh, somebody just rang my doorbell. My god, dude. Why are you ringing my doorbell? Okay, it's the fourth now. It seems that you've been sleeping until now. You heard the doorbell ringing. Someone seems to be at the door. Okay, let's go. You know, it's Yosuke. Teddy's missing. I looked all over the neighborhood, but I couldn't find him anywhere. Uh, he'll be back soon. Yeah, he'll be back soon. No, I won't go. Where could Teddy have gone? In any case, you decided to go look for him. Oh, okay. Let's go look for Teddy. I, I guess. I don't really care much for Teddy, but, you know. <laughs> Yo. It's no use, man. We can't find him. No luck for me, either. I didn't sense anything over there. The fog's so dense, it might be affecting my readings. I wish I could do better. But Ted... Don't tell me he really went back to his world this time. We told him over and over that he could stay here. Uh, you recall the mysterious dream you had last night. Uh, this may be a time for contemplation rather than action. That is what Igor said. But he'll be back for sure. No use getting worked up. Let's uh, think about this. I need a check. You never know. Um, so complete the Hollow Forest. Oh, I'm not there yet. So I, I picked all those. After choosing the right answer, you move ahead to December 5th. So I'm not on December 5th, so this choice does not matter. So I'll just put uh, no use getting uh, work done. Yeah, you're right. He plays dumb a lot, but he's attached to us deep down. I'm worried for Teddy myself, but let's trust in him and await his return. Right now, we must concentrate on the case. It won't be long before no yes. one is transferred to another location. We must hurry, or we will miss our only chance to get his perspective on this. Yeah. I've been thinking about the case since, but something just doesn't seem right. Let's quickly review the facts. Of all the victims, only two were killed. Miss Yamano, the announcer, and Saki-san. From the documents we found in the car, we know Namatame had some sort of dealings with them. After that, there were multiple attempted murders in which we were targeted. It was only when he took Nanako-chan that we caught him in the act, identifying his modus operandi in the process. You want to hear uh -huh. like that? Sounds like the dude's guilty. As a result of Namatame's arrest, the police admitted that Mitsuo Kubo was a mere copycat killer. Back up to yesterday. Remember when you said Namatame didn't have a motive to kill the announcer? That's what's bothering me. Right. Either he's completely nuts, or we're misunderstanding something. You lost me. Yeah. <laughs> if Namatame is sane, then there may be facts in the case we don't know about yet. Sane or insane? Sounds like a play I saw before. Oh, look at that. Look at this. So, um, on 320, so don't leave what? Okay. So there's only... So as of what I see here, there's uh, there's only two other steps left of uh of to getting the true ending, and it says uh you have to complete a dungeon in February, which is pretty far away. <laughs> We're in December right now, so you gotta complete a dungeon in February, and then uh move over to March. So yeah, we are close. We are close. There's only about three more months left because but we're we're still. Four, because we're at the beginning of uh, December. So yeah, about well, four more months left. Huh. I don't think there's any doubt that it includes kidnapping people and throwing them in 
to the TV. I'm just gonna do it with the thing. I'm gonna pause the recording and then any like unnecessary stuff that I'll just I just walk around the town or whatnot. I don't know <laughs> the stuff that doesn't have to do with the story that I don't do anything that I'll just pause. Yeah. He did call himself a savior and said that the other side is a wonderful world. So there'll be. I don't remember saying that. What a bunch of crap! The bastards. What do you think, senpai? Maybe it was him, or maybe it was him. Uh, there's something else. You think about it normally, it's got to be him. <laughs> but there ain't nothing normal about that world anyways. Yeah. Something I've been wondering about for a while. When we yeah. first encountered him, he said, you're the ones I saved. Don't worry, I'll save this girl too. Oh, what? So, um, if he saves people by killing them, did he save us too? Wouldn't he actually have failed to save us? Ah, so I think, so, okay, I think what's going through his mind is that he thinks that he's the one that saved these people, even though I'm the one that saved everyone. So that's what he's thinking, you know? He thinks that salvation comes only through death. His words to us make no sense. And another thing, the Namatame who appeared on the Midnight Channel said he failed to save Nanako-chan. Well, maybe he really was trying to save the victims by putting them inside the TV. Come huh. on, don't get I don't know. Like that. You guys <laughs> I don't the possibility that he truly intended to save us. But he's still the one who threw in Saki Senpai in that announcer, right? Sure, we haven't nailed down his motives, but that doesn't change the fact that he killed them. Or what? You think someone else was involved? The possibility of the po culprit uh the possibility of a culprit besides Namatame. Could there be something that proves this? Possible? Possibility? Okay, so Nanatame's diary, the copycat murder, the warning letter, and Misuzu Hiragi's alibi. Huh. Huh. Nanatame's diary? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna pick uh, the warning letter. Let's review them. You recall that the first warning letter said, don't rescue anymore. And the second one said, if you don't stop this time, someone close will be will be put in and killed. Yes, that's right. Isn't so, that yeah, now Tommy wouldn't have written it because he's not, he's saying he doesn't, he didn't kill them, you know? Why would he say kill? doesn't make sense either if the killer was writing it wouldn't it be more like i'll put it and kill hey could this mean uh namatame wrote it wrong the letter wasn't for me namatame didn't write it. yeah it's almost like someone else wrote this letter yes but only the killer would write such a letter and deliver it to dojima san's house right if someone else wrote it that could only mean that Namatame's not the killer. Since this is such an unusual case, I was absolutely convinced that other than the Kubo incident, there was one culprit. Uh, yeah. So Namatame really was trying to save his victims? Yes. Everything is exactly the opposite of what it first seemed. In Namatame's parlance, failing would have been the first two kills. Parlance? <laughs> That's a weird word. Suggest that someone else wrote this warning letter while observing the entire case. Yeah. Uh, no. We can't say for certain yet. <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> you all work together to take another step towards the truth. And we increase the, the new social link, the Seekers of Truth. Which, that will get up more close, because we're almost done with the game, you know? <laughs> okay, the, yep, the judgment. After what happened yesterday, they said they're going to tighten security. I have a plan, but there's 
no time to waste. Let's hurry to the hospital. I thought we were going tomorrow. Unless we're going to ask him today and then go and then talk about stuff tomorrow or something. I don't know. <laughs> Confirmation on an ID. Name of Nauto Shirogane. Huh? Ah. Understood. I see. Well, you're on the list. I can give you a few minutes, but I'll have to record your conversation with him for security purposes. Not that I expect you'll get anything coherent out of the guy. He's been spouting nothing but gibberish. Okay. I'd like him to accompany me as well. He has no identification, but this is an emergency situation, and he's here in Detective Dojima's stead. Huh? Detective Dojima sent him? I wasn't informed of this. I'll vouch for his identity. Well, I guess it's better than dealing with the man himself. We have our <laughs> transport procedures, so the last thing we need is Detective Dojima running wild. Yeah, Detective cat, don't open my window. Stop opening my window, cat. Something happened? There's something about a suspicious object out in the lobby. What? Uh, well then, this works out nicely. You should back up your colleagues downstairs. We'll keep watch over Namatame son. A disturbance in a hospital lobby after all. It sounds serious. If anything happens, hit the nurse call button. I'll leave the rest to you. Oh, okay. Understood. Please be careful. Damn, bro. What's Yosuke doing down there? <laughs> I didn't expect it to go this smoothly. Okay. Oh, there they are. Wow. There's nothing much inside that suspicious object. So he won't be gone long. All right. And now's our chance to talk to Namatame. Yeah, okay. Seriously, what suspicious objects do you put down there? Why are you being sus about sus things or something? I don't know. <sighs> Yo, Namatame. Namatame san, there's something we'd like to ask you. It's tempting to think that you were the culprit behind this entire case. And to be honest, there are many in this town who hope you are. But we are here to learn the truth. So please, answer our questions. Huh? Huh. <sighs> It seems that he understands what you're saying. What should you ask him? Uh, did you kill those two girls? Is saving killing people? Who'd you throw in first? Damn it, these, these are all trash answers, bro. Did you kill those two girls? They were killed. I couldn't save them. What should you ask him? Uh, who'd you throw in first? What should you ask him? Is saving killing people? <laughs> if nobody saves them, they'll be killed. That's why I put them in there. Then tell me if my estimation is correct so far. After discovering the Yamano and Konishi incidents, you realized an appearance on the Midnight Channel meant certain death. Thus, to save her from that fate, you kidnapped Yukiko Amagi. You couldn't let her be killed, so you threw her into the TV, preventing the killer in this world from reaching her. And you repeated the process, as more individuals appeared on the Midnight Channel. Okay. It all falls into place. Yes. <laughs> saying is true there's another killer who murdered the first two victims yes indulge us in a few more questions then the killer only just killed two people <laughs> what you ask him who killed the first two uh, yeah i'll just ask it in order <laughs> okay uh why why the warning letters 
What should you ask him? Uh, why did you enter TV? Damn. Okay. <laughs> you believe me? Did they find him? Did they find the one who did such cruel things? Mayumi. Please calm down. Our ability to find the culprit rests on you. We know about the other world. In fact, we're the only ones who can fully understand what you have to say. Damn, okay. You? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Please tell us everything you can, calmly and slowly. You willing to listen? Do my story? Yes. Because that's what I do. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I skip that. <laughs> Thinkingly to touch her, <laughs> my arm disappeared into the TV as if I had dipped it into a pool of water. I was so shocked that I lost my balance and nearly fell face first into the TV. God damn. city the next day after finishing work the next afternoon when i got to work I was <sighs> in the spot, as i expected that wasn't what broke me though it was mayumi being found dead and not just that damn okay it had happened in my hometown what uh, yeah yeah namatame is casting his eyes downwards painfully decided to try it again and i confirmed that none of it was a dream so that that's how i found oh, shit. It. <laughs> and eventually you learned of the midnight channel i remember that when mayumi was alive she was chasing a rumor about some bizarre tv program i'd heard about it before but i thought it was just an urban legend but then mayumi appeared on it and later turned up dead oh <laughs> Okay. I wanted to know the truth of Mayumi's death for myself. Then, on another rainy night, someone else appeared on the midnight channel. It was a girl. She looked like she was calling for help. Just like Mayumi, the first thing that came into my mind was, maybe this girl will be the next to die. And that was Saki-senpai. I'd been following all the news about Mayumi, so I noticed right away that she was the girl who found <sighs> Mayumi's body. My hunch was right. She'd be the next victim. I didn't want her to die the way Mayumi did, 
So I desperately kept watching. I was consumed with the idea of rescuing her. Then, little by little, her image on the screen came into sharper focus. It became sharper? <sighs> How did you find out it was her? After I came back, my father couldn't bear to see me in such low spirits. He gave me a job with the family business. I met that girl when I delivered a package to the liquor store. Okay. Flashback. <laughs> I decided to meet her and told her to be careful. <laughs> that same night on the TV. What the heck is Heck is going on there. Come on, please. Oh no. And then Saki died. They found her dead. I knew she was gonna be murdered. But I couldn't save her. I blamed myself, thinking there must have been something I could have done. There was no one who depended on me. Nobody at work. <sighs> my Umi was the only one who accepted me for who I was, but she was murdered, and the same person killed another girl. I was, I was beside myself. I couldn't forgive myself for doing nothing. You really did love Miss Yamano. Yes, from the bottom of my heart. Before I was married, my wife made it big in show business. I was happy for her, but. It put a strain on our relationship. I think I can kind of relate. It was around that time when I met Mayumi. She was interviewing our candidate for the next election. She was a big name announcer, but she only worked with local stations. We both came from Inaba, so she was easy to talk to. I knew it was wrong, but I couldn't help getting intimate with her. She <laughs> okay. Meaning to my life. Soon after Saki san was found dead. Yet another girl appeared on TV. That yeah. was you. But why why'd you get exclamation mark, bro? <laughs> like dun. she'll be kidnapped next. And murdered. Yeah, and she's also acting pretty sus on TV, so and she's also the only one we got a cutscene for, which I'm sad, you know? <laughs> we got a cutscene for whenever uh, Yukiko appeared on the Midnight Channel. She was the first one we saw, but like, you know. I'd we only get one for her. <laughs> Who left no clues to his identity. I thought hard about what I could do to protect her from someone like that. I'll never convince her. If she gets suspicious and they arrest me, who'll save her then? Inside the TV looked as if she was smiling at me. And that's when it hit me. I apparently had the power to go through the TV screen to the other side. Then, what if I put her into the TV and give her shelter there before the killer gets her? What are you trying to tell me? That it's safe over there? Is that it? <laughs> the TV seemed to smile at me again. And I thought, no matter what kind of place it might be, it's better than being slaughtered. Once things calm down, I could just let her out again. If she's inside the TV... There's no way they can find her. It felt as if everything was starting to come together in my mind. Could it be that Mayumi gave me that power to prevent any more victims from meeting her fate? Was it my mission to save people? But there was no, no problem. If I explained the situation to the victim, they wouldn't understand. I had already tried that and failed miserably. It seemed the only thing I could do was to take them away. If that was my mission, I'd just have to do it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> or so you thought. Please lend me your strength. So, since you thought people who appeared on the Midnight Channel would be killed, you kidnapped us in order to save us. Mission? Give me a break! <laughs> 
thought I was the only one who could help them. I did call the police, but they didn't believe me. I knew the area well, thanks to my job. I had a large truck, and I could move around without suspicion. I thought my job as a delivery man would be the perfect cover for my mission. I thought no one else could do it. But are you telling me that I wasn't saving them? Yeah, you weren't. Still within the TV world, when the fog appears here, they will die. Beginning with Yukiko-san, the people you thought you had been saving were, in fact, in mortal peril. It was my friends here who really saved us all. I have a feeling that was it. When I went after that little girl and entered the TV myself, for the first time, I had some doubts about myself. <laughs> you referred to Nanako-chan, correct? The police were after me, so I had to get away. But I still felt I needed to do everything I could to save that poor little girl. That's why I went in after her. But the TV world was completely different than I imagined. Such an abominable, grotesque place. I knew that the three of you who I saved went back to your normal lives, so I didn't realize how terrible that world was. And I never knew you couldn't even get out of that place on your own. Yeah. That's a cowardly way to put it. I'd probably already begun to realize that it was a dangerous place. I I wouldn't have gone to see, <laughs> see us? Wait, are you talking about the concert we did at Juness? Yes. I wanted to know why the ones I saved were all hanging out with each other and how much you remembered. But in the end, I couldn't bring myself to say anything and ran home. I must have felt too guilty. <laughs> but all the doubts and anxieties I'd been unconsciously suppressing exploded out when I entered the television myself. I thought but damn. I, was insane. I probably did. And you know the rest. When I came to, I was lying in a hospital bed. You really were trying to save people. <laughs> just the opposite. Damn, bro. losing my job and the woman I loved all I had left was this power I convinced myself that world was some sort of sanctuary and I secretly believed myself to be a hero damn Namatame <laughs> TV and believed everything was as I wanted it to be I didn't think for myself at all that's why I couldn't protect them I'm to blame for all of this um, what's done is done. Yeah, what's done is done. I suppose so. The things I've done are too serious to be brushed aside like that. I have no intentions of running away from my crimes. I'm prepared to face the consequences. Kid okay. The Midnight Channel and the other world, you can hardly be blamed for failing to understand them properly. We must apologize to you as well. Had we let our emotions blind us to the truth, we would have piled all the responsibility on you. I guess from your point of view, people did stop dying once you started saving people. The more you did it, the more you really believed you were preventing their deaths. I'm such a joke. Damn, bro. Now the time has like a dot on his head. Why is there a dot there? <laughs> it's just a dot there. What are you all crammed in here for? My apologies. We'll be leaving now. Wait. I beg you, please find whoever's behind this. You children are the only ones who know about that world. That's our plan. Another party who threw the first two victims into the TV. You take another step towards the truth. Yo, we got we un, we did our uh, the seekers of the truth. 
judgment arcana. <laughs> yeah, we have no need to be here. Hold up, I need to see how long. Okay, it's already been 50 minutes. Damn, okay. Yeah. But the real killer, I'm pretty sure he took Teddy. The details, bro? Who says it like that? Huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I have to talk to people now. God. Tomorrow you'll be, uh, you all be going out to talk to people in town. Will this finally help uncover the information that will lead you to the true culprit? You decide to go home early today and get some rest. Okay. It's now the evening. Oh, okay. Let's head over. Let me save real quick. Let me save. I did that one at three, so I'll do it at four. This one at four. There we go. Okay, but let's head back up into, uh, let's go to sleep. And I'm gonna read the, 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 the guide again and see what I can do. Okay. Or see what I have to do. So all it says, after choosing the right answer, move ahead to December 5th. Uh, which is when you will have to make another important choice. So I have to actually freaking go find, I have to go talk to the people first. So let's go to, uh, here. And just talk to all these random people. I'm just gonna skip the dialogue. I don't really want to, um... I don't really want to read it all. About those murders, yada yada yada. Okay, let's move over to you. About those murders. Do I have to talk to everyone? I feel like I have to talk to everyone. What's this guy doing? Uh, uh, get over to him. Uh, yeah, no, I can't talk to him. Now that's Yukiko, that's Kanji. There's nobody else over here. So let's come over to this area and talk to the people that are over here uh, about these murders. Okay. And then uh, there's Chie, and then that old, or these people over here. Uh, talk to you about those murders. Yep. And talk to this old man about those murders. Sana and Rugged. I don't know what that means, but you know. <laughs> it's Sana there. Okay, I can't talk to her. Let me talk to this guy wearing the gas mask. <laughs> About those murders. Okay. Let me talk to the biker fella over here. And I can't talk to him. Okay. But let's leave to uh, the shopping district. Or uh, the department store. Let's leave to the department store. And talk to the people that are over here. I'll talk to you. About those murders. Okay. And talk to you. I can't talk to you. Okay, there's Naoto. I want to talk to Naoto. Um, and then now we got to go to the this place. We can't go to school, I don't think. So yeah. Uh, hear him out. I, okay, whatever. Uh, you got it, bro. <laughs> okay, everyone needs help, bro. Uh, turn her down. Let me let me come down here first. Let's see. Let's let's see. Anyone down here? Um, yeah, no, nobody's down here. Okay. Uh, now let's head over to you. Let's talk to you about those murders. Okay. Yep. And talk to you about those murders. Yep. I had another, I had another a dialogue option. I want to see what it is. I uh, recall any suspicious. Oh, okay. There's another option that i could have picked let me go back then <laughs> cat move out of the way cat okay let me go back to you and pick recall anyone suspicious okay 
and then I head all the way back to uh, the beginning part. Yes. Well, let's go back to Janess, because there's only one person in Janess that I can actually uh, talk to, or I can actually do it. We're calling one suspicious. Okay, there we go. I did those two. Now let's head back to the central shopping district and uh, talk to these people. You. Recall anyone suspicious? And you. Recall anyone suspicious? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. That was uh, some information that I don't really, uh, I didn't read. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what uh, what she said, but she said something important. She mentioned Saki. Um, let's talk to you again. And uh, re no, 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 not that one. The other one. Uh, recall anyone suspicious? Okay. And uh, these should be the last couple of people. Um, because I'm pretty sure I can't go to the school. Um, recall anyone suspicious? Okay, he said the same thing. Uh, let me go to you, which I can't talk to you. And this is the only other person I can talk to. Um, recall anyone suspicious. Okay, that was it. I did it. Okay. A Chinese diner. Uh, Aya. You meet up with your friends after you finish gathering information. Okay. <laughs> didn't hear anything good. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. Yeah. What should we do? I don't know. Yeah, one steak bowl. <laughs> what I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. God damn it. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. Yeah, I, I, I want food. I want ramen. I haven't had ramen in ages. You all finished eating uh, the dishes that you ordered. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, you spoke with everyone about the information you gathered today. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end? The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. There yeah. <laughs> being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't. But otherwise, the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy, too, but no one's seen him. Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new... Damn, Naoto. You're useless... <laughs> for this case the killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano yeah okay as well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent yeah okay finally it must be someone who could approach senpai's house without arousing suspicion ah ah before I give it more thought Aha! Someone who could approach my house. Just sitting here won't help you think any better. We decide to go outside and get some fresh air. <laughs> Damn, okay. Yo, Naoto. It's snowing again. <laughs> it's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. When will I have to make the the, the serious choice here? Yeah. 
lost in it. There must be something that's been overlooked. It's urgent that you get over the roadblock facing you. The clues you need must already be in your hands. You should go over everything you know one more time. The culprit had j uh, had some sort of connection with both Mayumi, Yamano, and Saki Konishi. We got to do the Danganronpa case put together thing. <laughs> <laughs> and judging by the warning letter, the culprit most likely knows about the other side. What you did there. It's a hi it's highly likely that they also knew with what Nanatame was doing and stood back to watch. Who would know all these things? Another oddity about the case is that there were almost no witnesses. Both warning letters seem to have been delivered directly to your house, but no one saw anyone suspicious. No one usually was seen around Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi either. Despite the police dispatching an, an unusually high number of officers to perform a thorough investigation, there must be someone in this small town who fits all the facts. The person who seems to be the most likely culprit is... Uh, Yosuke uh, Chie Yukio Teddy, it's someone else. Kanji Risei Naoto, it's someone else. Ryotaro, uh, Nanako, Tohru, or uh, uh, Taro Namatami, it's... It's Adachi. <laughs> Of course, if you looked, if you look only at the circumstances, you can't completely rule out that po that possibility. Nachi may have been able to keep an eye on your actions. Uh, he would have been able to approach your house with ease, and he knows the area well. Thinking about it, you encountered him many times while investigating the case. You'll learn much about the police's movements from Adachi as well. There's no exact reason to doubt him, but something is bothering you. You spoke Adachi's name. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. A member of the police force. That is an interesting approach. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. And since he's a detective... People definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. Yeah. He could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. But we're talking about Adachi here, right? I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi, I'm not sure how to put it. But there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Yeah, Adachi always just bothers me. I don't like Adachi. So I shouldn't speak too. It's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Yes, let's discuss this with our party. What? That's when Adachi san arrived saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Guard her? He didn't spend the night there? Hmm. I wonder if he knew Ms. Yamano. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. I found out this afternoon. And I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, but it's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. Yeah? Then you think he had something else on his mind? And that something is what connects oh. to Adachi-san? running into that guy a lot in all sorts of places and every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying 
oops, I said too much and clamming up. Was that all to throw us off the trail? Would be no problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox either. Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. Yeah, various um pecu uh, peculiarities have begun to cast a suspicious shadow on Adachi. Then, is it really Adachi san? Watch Adachi walk in. It's him, all right. This is still only a tentative theory. We should work to confirm it as soon as possible. Okay, let me read more of this. So. Uh, you'll be given the opportunity to say who you think the real killer is at which point you need to respond to Toro Adachi. This will unlock the Magatsu Inaba dungeon, which you'll need to complete before Christmas. We'll have to complete it before Christmas? Okay. Well, I'll be able to complete it, like, you know, once. In, like, one video, which will be next next time. I want to get there until we unlock the dungeon. Toshiragami. Something has occurred to me about the case, and I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input on it. Huh? The transport? It's right now? Right, I, I see. Thank you. What was that about a transport? Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. We must head there at once. Yes, we must go! Things are moving quickly now. You feel that you are getting closer to the truth. Yes! There's like, I think there's only probably going to be one or two more videos until we actually fully finish the game. But then, like, I'll have to um, make two more videos afterwards just by getting the alternate endings. Or I could just uh, get, uh, depending on how long it takes, I could just complete. Yeah, whatever. We'll see. For some of uh, the, the, the golden ending, I'll, uh, I'll have to get separately <laughs> in, like, one whole video. But the good ending, I might be able to get it at the end of uh, freaking um, the true ending. But we'll see. We'll see. We're so close to finishing the game, guys. Hey, you know where Dojima-san went? He told me he snuck out of his room again. I assure you, we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put, but he keeps going off on his own. Oh, okay. Adachi, we need to speak. seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Didn't you guys think so, too? Hey, what are you doing here, anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again. Adachi. Where's Namatami? There's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Dojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. You did what? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. Give me a break, Dojima-san. <laughs> Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. That part's still nagging at me. Is this more of your detective's intuition? He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. And you kids should really get home too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. Dachi, stop being sus. It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. Adachi. Come on. I'm always giving 110% when it comes to the job. You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. Hmm. What are you all doing here? We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. <laughs> yes, Adachi. You question Adachi. Um, about when Yamano vanished. The time the announcer went missing? I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. That was months and months ago, too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. You questioned Adachi um, about Saki's interrogation. Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. 
Uh, there are still- there is still something you need to question Dachi about. Um, about the warning letter. Warning letter? The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh, I don't really remember. Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your accident was right after that, and what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Dachi? Stop, stop acting sus, Dachi! asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dachi! Dojima-san, you really need Getting to real defensive right now, dude. That's why your wounds aren't healing. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? I'm going back. I need to get to the station to report in. Just one more. <laughs> we know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? Yeah, Adachi-san. I have no idea what you're talking about. Because we think it might have been you. What? Uh, that's ridiculous. We are, are you sure about that, Nam Nam uh, freaking Nadachi? What did you just say? Put them all in. What's this putting them in business? Do you know something about the method behind their murders? <laughs> Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was. I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi san, I've been fixated on something you once said. Before, I didn't know why, only that it sounded a wrong note to me. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima san's accident. At the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. And in yeah. response, your words were, wow, then that settles it. How, I wonder, would that settle anything? At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. You had no reason to say such a thing. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd, that. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? Yeah, Adachi. I said I'm busy. Ada get him! Adachi's running away! Oh man, okay. Okay. Where'd he go? Oh, he went into the TV. Nagatame's hospital room. Adachi isn't here either. What the? I swear he ran this way. Damn it. Where the hell did he go? Did you find him? He's in the TV. Jima-san, for heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? I'm sorry. I got carried away. Do you even want to get better? If you keep <laughs> this up, there could be lasting damages. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? Y you're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Okay, yeah. Oh, Adachi, 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 Adachi. My God, Adachi. I don't think he would. But could he have? Of course he could have, bro. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went through? We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. Yeah. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he's the uh. culprit. Yes. 
So I guess we were right. What do we do now? Let's go in. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. We're not 100% positive he used this TV, and on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Let's go in from Juness like always. It'll be Yeah. Fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. Yes. The extremely suspicious detective, Adachi. You've taken another step closer to the truth. Okay. Our rank five now. We're halfway there. To the seek truth secret of the truth or whatever. Uh, you split up for today and you all went back home. God damn, bro. Okay, let me save real quick. I'll, I'll, I'll save it at 5, because why not? Um, There we go. So guys, I'm actually going to end today's video here. Um, Next video, we are going to uh probably complete this palace. That's called, it says, uh, or this dungeon. The Magatsu Inaba Dungeon. That's that's the one we're going to do ne next video. And I'm not going to record it immediately after this one. Because I just recorded uh, two videos for like about two hours or so. So yeah. My back hurts from bending over, and my neck hurts from looking up. So yeah, guys. So guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video, and don't forget to leave a like, and you know, of course, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, and bye-bye. Um,